Oh, I don't feel too hot, but I guess I'll go to the barn today anyways. You don't hog, get back in your bed. Oh, my body sure does hurt now. It's time to get those eggs from the chickens. Today. What? Well, thank you. Okay, so the swine flu, it, it's you, it starts off as like the normal flu, and then your symptoms get like worse and worse throughout the course of like three days, and eventually they're like, what the heck? This is not normal flu. Then you go to the doctor, and then they declare it the H1N1 virus, and. They give you, if it's, like, not terribly bad, then they'll just give you medicine and tell you to rest and stay with the fluids, and then you'll be ready in, like, seven days. But other people don't get off so easy. A lot of the older people kind of just, like, they'd get, be getting better, and then the side effect of, one of the side effects of the swine flu is getting, going, like, psycho, and eventually your brain is making you be confused and then it go leads to seizures and a lot of people can't live through that especially older people because there's really nothing you can do about that and you can't predict when it happens so older people tend to just go psycho and kind of lose it and can't fight through it so that stings for them a lot of toddlers get it and another side effect of having it is pneumonia and that's really bad for your lungs and that Swine flu is already a respiratory virus, so pneumonia on top of that is really bad. I've had it. And their immune system obviously has not totally developed yet, so they can't fight it off, and that just leads to them having breathing problems and then not being able to deal with that. So toddlers, some most toddlers did not make it through. Okay, so the symptoms are flu symptoms, obviously, I already said that. And, um... The last outbreak wasn't until 2009, but it was in the USA. So just stay healthy, wash your hands, stay away from people with flu and swine flu, and you should be good. Bye.